In this video, we will look at a few examples that will allow us to practice working with slope in the coordinate plane. In example A, it says, what is the slope of the line through the point 2, 2 and 4, 6? So let's plot those points to visualize what's going on. This is the point 2, 2, and this is the point 4, 6. So we're looking for the slope of the line that goes through those two points. Now, once we've seen it in our graph, we can figure out our delta y and our delta x between those two points. Delta y will just be the change in the y values. So 6 minus 2 is 4. We can also see 4 right here. So delta y is 4. And delta x, we can see, is 2, 1, 2. We can also see that by looking at 4 and 2, and 4 minus 2 is 2. So that means our slope, delta y over delta x, equals 4 over 2, which is 2. So the slope of the line is 2. Let's look at the next example. Find the slope between negative 8, 3 and 2, negative 2. This time, let's try to figure this out without using a graph. So we need to figure out our delta y and our delta x. Delta y is always the difference in the y coordinates. So to figure that out, we can just do 3 minus negative 2. Delta x will be the difference in the x coordinates. So that would just be negative 8 minus 2. Make sure when you do it this way that you start with the same coordinate each time. So I started with subtracting the negative 8 and the 3 in each case. Now you want to simplify both of these and you end up with 5 over negative 10 which reduces to negative 1 half. Notice that this is a negative slope that means the line will be going down from left to right, just like this. All right, let's look at the last example. Find the slope between negative 5, negative 1, which is right here, and 3, negative 1. Well, I noticed that both of these points have a y coordinate that's negative 1. That means that the line that's created is a horizontal line. Horizontal lines always have slopes that are zero. If you forget why that is, you can keep in mind that it's the same thing, delta y over delta x. It just turns out that for horizontal lines, there is no change in y. It goes from negative one to negative one, so delta y is just zero. And that means that delta x, no matter what it is, this could be anything, and our answer will be zero. So the slope is always zero for horizontal lines.